When rehearsing at home, say your lines three to ten times out loud before doing anything else. Be yourself. Make sense of the story for yourself. For television or movies, you're sometimes not given the whole script until you're cast, but read everything you've been given. If you can get a hold of the other parts of the script that you're not even in, do that. Read them. This is all part of your detective work. For theater, always read the full script, not just your parts. Now let's start our detective work. A. What do you say about yourself? B. What do the stage directions say about you? C. What do others say about you? This will tell you not only a lot about your character, but it will inform you about your relationship to the other characters. It also informs you as to your role in the story. Every script is a story. Every character in it is just one small piece of the whole. Our job is to keep the story moving forward. I want to make sure to tell you about Acting for Young Actors. It's a fabulous book. It breaks down a lot of what the greats have spoken of in a very kid, youth, teen friendly way. So if you're a beginner and you found me here and you're helping your student who happens to be younger, that will be a fabulous resource for you. And I'm going to link it in the description here. Welcome to episode five of Acting A through Z. Today's topic, finding the beginning, middle and end of your story. Every script is a story, or part of a story. Find the beginning, middle, and end of the section you're working on. I literally draw a line on my page to show me where it shifts to the next. More on that in future videos. That is known as a transition. As an actor, it's crucial to understand the structure of a scene and be able to identify its beginning, middle, and end. This knowledge allows you to approach your performance with a clear understanding of the overall narrative arc and create a compelling portrayal of your character's journey. The beginning of a scene is where the action starts and the characters are introduced. This is where you establish your character's objective and the circumstances of the scene. As an actor, it's essential to be fully present and engaged in the moment, reacting truthfully to the situation presented to you. This sets the tone for a scene and creates a foundation for your character's development. The middle of the scene is where the action intensifies and the stakes become higher. This is where conflict arises and your character must face obstacles and challenges. As an actor, it's important to stay focused on your character's objective and the circumstances of the scene. This allows you to create a sense of tension and build momentum towards the climax of the scene. The climax of the scene is the point of maximum tension and conflict. This is where the stakes are the highest, and your character's objective is on the line. As an actor, it is important to fully commit to your character's choices and emotions, allowing yourself to be vulnerable and present in the moment. This creates a sense of authenticity and depth to your performance, drawing the audience in and making them invested in your character's journey. The end of the scene is where the conflict is resolved, and the characters either succeed or fail in achieving their objectives. As an actor, it is important to stay true to your character's emotions. Okay, so get any script and see if you can figure out where the beginning, middle, and end is. And actually map out your character's emotions. How do you feel in each of those sections? Hit the notification bell because next we're going into the five W's of acting, aha moments, and more. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Don't forget you can coach with me on Zoom. All that good stuff.